know that many Americans are facing difficult economic times right now, but let's not forget that discrimination is not dead either. Here is one tale of strength in the face of adversity. Jason Jones has more. Every day, Mark G. and Giulio of Philadelphia feels like an outsider in his own neighborhood. I've been told that I intimidate people by the way I look. He can hardly walk down the street without being reminded that he's different. I, you know, people call me names all the time. You know, meathead. When people call you the M word, how does that make you feel? It, you get used to it after a while, it rolls off your shoulders. Luckily, his shoulders can take it because Mark is a muscled American. A group of people routinely discriminated against almost everywhere they go. But G and Giulio recently faced intolerance in the one place he thought he was safe, his local Planet Fitness gym. I wasn't there a week and I was told, you intimidate the other patrons and uh, we don't like your type here. Your type? Yes. Excuse me? Yeah, my type. Uh... What does that mean, barrel shaped? No, I think what he meant was my type of heavy weightlifter. I started to realize then, and I said, I don't think they like me here, but they're not going to throw me out. Well, God damn it, I was wrong. They threw me out. But there had to be a good reason for this national chain with nearly 500 locations to kick him out. He was grunting in the gym. And that is against the gym's policy. You know, you've seen it. Have you ever been a gym member before? No. Oh, well, in the gym, uh, what you would see is somebody pick up weights and they go, Ugh! and that's what we're trying to eliminate. But, but it is a gym, right? Yes. The no grunting policy is part of their holistic approach to fitness. We are the judgment-free zone, and we make sure that everyone can feel comfortable and kind of not have that hassle of all the different lunks in the gym. And what is a lunk? Meatheads. You know, bodybuilders, we call them lunkheads, jerks. That's some pretty inflammatory language. That's how we feel about these people. They're just not welcome. So no judgment, except you get to judge. That's right. Okay, so what exactly does this non-judgmental gym judge as too much grunting? What about this? Still no. Really? I can't even breathe? Mm -hmm. I can't... What is it? That is our lung alarm. So what that does is it goes off anytime someone drops weights or grunts. You're right, that's a lot less annoying than grunting. And it's not just grunting that Planet Fitness has understandably outlawed. Science says no do-rags allowed. No do-rags? No do-rags. You gotta have a do-rag. I know. I thought they would just stop tactics. You must no longer wear do-rags. Ever. At least the gym doesn't totally dehumanize those they see as different. There's a lot of places for lunks to go. They have a lot of places, you know? All the animals can be in one cage, and then we have Planet Fitness where all the people can go. You know who else said that? Hitler. What? No. No. I was going to say Thomas Jefferson. I know how other people feel now when they've been, uh, you know, discriminated against. Do you ever wish you weren't born this way? I wasn't born this way. I've been working out for years. That's how I got this way. There had to be a way he could be part of society. Any Pilates? <laughs> no way. Any yoga? No, look at this body. You think I could do yoga? <laughs> Maybe not, but there was still something I could do to help G and Julio. See, there's other forms of exercise out here. Well, that's all well and good, but this one is definitely not for me. I'm out of here. Walk it. So for now, he works out alone in a yard, moving back and forth, hoping for a day when he can lift weights freely again. So sad. Jason Jones, we'll be right back.